Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are working in my traveler's notebook and I'm going to go ahead and just do a little flip through before we jump into today's spread. I did start cutting down my traveler's notebooks and added them to discs and I do really love doing this method as opposed to keeping them within um, the actual notebook itself. I do a lot of memory keeping out of order and I like that with the disc bound process I can kind of reorder it if I wanted to. So now I'm just kind of going through some of the pre-punched pages that I have and picking out two pages to document this photo of me at the park yesterday uh, for a friend's birthday party, a friend's child's birthday party. So I did have my husband take a photo of me on the swing because I love swings and I wanted to go ahead and uh, document this and my love for swings. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and trim my photo down. I'm going to trim this to three inches, I believe, um, and I'm not entirely sure how tall it ends up being. I'm going to go ahead and assume probably about four and a half, five inches tall. So I'm getting this photo trimmed down and then I will go ahead and kind of start messing around with my embellishments and pick out a few embellishments to also be added to my page. I left these heart um, puffy stickers, I think they are, on my table because I thought I would use one. Um, so I kind of just left them out because I filmed this back to back with another video, but I didn't end up actually using anything because it didn't match anything that I was doing on this particular spread. So I just left them there. They don't really match, but it's all right. <laughs> um, these chipboard shapes that I'm looking through right now, these February ones are from the Allie Edwards January Story by the Month kits. Um, so I'm wanting to use some of these to kind of use up those February labeled items. I don't actually end up using any of them, but I was kind of testing them out to see if I liked them. So I end up using this little mini tag that says, that says a little story, love this. It was also from the February story, the January stories by the month kit, but it doesn't actually say February on it. Um, but, you know, I used something from the kit, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> and then the little circle die, or chipboard, is from a Studio Calico uh, chipboard shapes. I'm going to go ahead and flip through some of my 4x6 cards. And this one with the red background, I'm probably never going to use the red part of it, so I flipped it over and there was like a nice neutral grid pattern so I'm going to use that to back my photo up to kind of separate it from the background image a little bit and then I'm going to trim that down again I'm going to pull back out my trimmer and trim it down a little bit it took me a while to get the hang of trimming things with borders on this we are memory keepers trimmer um, but what I started doing was just lining up my photo with the actual clear like holder down Thing. I'm not sure what that's called um, and then I noticed that when I line all of my edges up with that um, it actually gives me a perfect border all the way around so if anybody else has those issues with this particular photo trimmer there's a pro tip <laughs> Once again, I'm picking up those hearts because I was like, should I use these? And then I was like, I have literally no pink, peach, coral, or any of those colors on my spread, so I should not use these. I'm gonna pull out some of my Studio Calico stickers, and I'm going to use this little, like, tannish one um, to put my journaling on. I don't have a lot of journaling for this. I just talked about how much I love swings, and since we were at a birthday party at a park and the swings were completely open, um, the only kids that were at the park were the kids from our birthday party at the time that this photo was taken and nobody was playing on the swing. So I was like, you know what? Let me go swing for a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything adhered down. 
So I'll adhere my photo down and I'm going to put some adhesive on the back of that chipboard love this shape, but I'm not actually going to put that down until after I add my date stamp. I wanted my date stamp to be right underneath that, so I figured if I added the chipboard shape first, it would probably mess up my stamping of the date. So I'm about to put it down and then I second guess myself and set it to the side and then I'm going to go ahead and add my date which was February 19th. And then I'll go ahead and just place that chipboard tag um, a little bit off my photo but right on top of my dates and then I'm going to go ahead and get my journaling added and I basically like I said just talk about how much I love swinging and since we were at the park for most of the day and the swings were empty I took advantage of it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is um, add a word phrase sticker. Um, I'm looking at this particular sticker, but I end up putting it back because I ordered two of these sheets and I've used significantly more on the other sheet and I want to finish that sheet first before I start using this other one. Um, so what I did for this, because as you can see, I did take one off of that other sheet already. I actually stapled them back to back so the one with the most stickers gone is on the top um, so that I'll stop grabbing that other one first <laughs> alright so I am done I'm gonna go ahead and get this placed back in my disc bound travelers notebook and I will adhere this back to back I didn't do it on video I still haven't done it yet but it'll happen eventually anyways thank you so much for joining me today and I do hope you have a great rest of your day bye